and welcome to probably an unexpected video on this channel because I am starting a new collection if you couldn't tell from the title and I'm super 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 excited about it. So uh, if you don't know who One We Are, they are a five member band under RBW Entertainment. Uh, you may recognise the name if you heard of One Us which is a K-pop idol group. They're kind of brother groups. But yeah, I have been listening to One More music since they released Regulus, which I feel like most people know them for. Like, if they know a One More song, it's probably that song. And that was back in 2019. And a few months ago, I considered buying their discography, but I decided against it just because of all the stuff that Strakers and Asics were releasing at the time. But after their latest album, which is this one, I just like, I had to. I fell down the rabbit hole. I just, it's so good. And now I'm going to be collecting them. And yeah, I'm so, so, so excited. I think that's enough of an explanation. I'll probably talk more about it as we go through this. But this video will be in two parts. So the first part is going to be me opening all their albums here and just kind of going through them, seeing my pulls. And then the second part, I'm going to be setting up for my collection, which I'm super excited. And I'm going to be going over like who I'm collecting, how I'm collecting. It will be really exciting. So yeah, let's get into these albums. I am going to go in release order. So we're going to be starting with this one. So this is their first album one. And I am so excited. I'm not going to be doing full unboxings of these albums, but this is my first time obviously having them in person, so I am going to be doing a little bit of a look through. And I haven't seen them since they first came out and I watched an unboxing of them then, so I don't really remember everything about it. So let's just open up the plastic. Okay, here we go. So for those wondering, I did order this from K-Pop Town and all these albums. Um, I just ordered them together, but that's what the spine looks like. It's hard to see. <laughs> but yeah, and then you obviously have the back of the album. So let's get into it. Oh, the tracklist is here. Let's talk about the tracklist because I just want to talk about a few songs. So obviously Regulus has a very special place in my heart. This whole song, uh, not song, <laughs> this whole album is insanely good. But if I had to give some other favourites, I really love Love Me actually and um, Owen 4, or is it Around 4? Um, I just think it's such a cute song. And obviously Crazy Good as well is really good. So I just, ah, oh, they're all good. They're all good. <laughs> But yeah, let's get into it. So as I said, oh, there's a track list there as well. Again, it's been a while <laughs> since this album came out. It's been a year. It's not been that bad. But yeah, I'm just going to do a little flip through. I don't know where the inclusions are. I'm going to assume they're in the photo book. But we just have this. Oh, is this an accordion thing? Oh, it's an accordion thing. Oh, you can like rip it out. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at that one. <laughs> so it's for each of the songs that they released for this part. Because before they started releasing albums, they released like singles i guess like they didn't have official albums before this but they did have their official debut it's a bit confusing <laughs> then we have this one as i said i'm not going to do like a proper foot through oh my god the drawings are so cute wait <laughs> oh my god that's so cute oh i'm sorry i'm not supposed to be doing a flip through but it's adorable <laughs> okay i won't do a flip through for the rest of the stuff i just i needed to show that off because it was so cute then we have three out of four. Oh, cool so this is for Q that they released, which um, featured Hwasa from Mamamoo, who's in the same company, if you didn't know. And then we also have it's an interesting design. It's very similar to um, the Right Through Me album, which I just unboxed and I was like, oh, I really hate that. <laughs> so, oh, there's a CD. Let's get the CD. Oh no, stickers. Why stickers? No. <laughs> I had done so well avoiding stickers up until this point. Okay. Whoever was the person who decided stickers should go on K-pop albums, I just, I hope they uh, understand what they've done. <laughs> but this is what the CD looks like. Pretty. But yeah, no, they stickers are just not it. <laughs> or on an important part of the album, at least. You know, one that you're going to keep. <laughs> but then we have the photo book. So let's just do a quick through. So this was obviously for End of Spring was the title song for this album. Uh, I'm just doing a quick flip through. I'm trying not to give away who my bias is yet. <laughs> Can you guys make a guess just based on what you know about Wong Wei and what you know about my biases? I think I'm very predictable, honestly, but... Pretty. It's such a pretty... Like, I really love the colours for this album. So let's put this all away and we will go through the pools. So for the first one we have... Oh my god, Kia! Yeah! Cute! <laughs> I know these ones are really hard to find, so actually I'm so happy about this. Oh my god. Cute. As far as I'm aware, Kia's photo cards for the first album are the, like the hardest out of that album photo cards to find, so that's really awesome. Cool. And then for the next one we have... Oh my god, Harren! Oh my god, I really like the like desert kind of background, which kind of matches the clothes. It's really awesome. 
cute. <laughs> so those are the pulls for the first album and I would say that's some like already so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next we have Studio We Recording, and this is a demo album actually, so it wasn't released digitally except for uh, Parting, which was the, like, I guess title song for this album, but it's not like a digital album release, it's just all demo tracks of songs they've released other than Parting. So yes, we'll open it. Cool, so this is it. I do think the design is really interesting and unique. I like it, but at the same time, I'm not sure how I feel about the CD being like directly on the front of the album, but I really love like the holographic on the um, members' like pictures, but yeah. I guess. Ooh, uh, let me find the photo cards. Let's just do a quick flip through. So yeah, it doesn't, obviously it's a, quite a small album because it is a demo album, but you still get a nice little photo book. Cute. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love Parting. It's such a good song and I can't wait to listen to the demo songs because obviously I haven't heard them since they are only on the physical album. So for this, you get like a little postcard, which has one of the, oh, okay. Has one of the album covers. So I got the one for the one we just unboxed <laughs> before this or opened before this. They're pretty. I'm not really going to be trying to get them all, but this one's really pretty actually. I like it. <laughs> for the photo cards, for the first one, we got... Oh, Harren! Cute. I don't know if I showed the backs of the other ones. I'll show them in a second. Uh, but this is the back of this one. Cute. <laughs> actually, I'm not sure if you'd call this one cute. But, <laughs> but you know, I can say what I want to say. Um, cool. And then for the next one, we have... Oh, Young Hoon! Oh my god, I really love the like stripe in his hair in this album. It's really cool. Because he always really has um, brown or black hair for like all his photo cards. So it's nice to see some colour. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dyed hair enthusiast myself. Um, let me just quickly show the backs of the other ones. Because I can't remember if I did. So this is Harren's and that's the back of his. And then this is Kia's and the back of his. Cute. <laughs> so now we will go on to Memory Illusion. Okay, so Memory Illusion. I think this is such a pretty album. Although I think uh, my favourite one is actually design wise their latest one but we'll get to that later <laughs> can i also just say that these albums are absolutely massive they're like huge magazines which i'm not complaining about if you weren't aware by the way this is their entire dis uh, discography and they only have one version of all the albums so yes this is it well their entire korean discography i think they have a couple japanese releases but this is this one and the spine and the back, this is only a single album, so we only have three tracks in, the instrumental of the title song. All three of these tracks are absolutely amazing. If you had asked me when this album came out, which was my favorite song, I would have said Trauma, but now it's definitely Eraser, but literally all three of these songs, like phenomenal. <laughs> like a book in memory, if you just ever like are feeling emotional, just put this on with the lyrics, like a live performance of this and just like suffer, honestly. <laughs> it's just like pure emotion. You you know, there's, there's nothing like it, you know. <laughs> Suffer in a good way. Uh, let me find the photo cards. Okay, so let's do a quick flip through. I'm not gonna, as I said, do the whole thing. Oh, the CD's really pretty. Oh my god, is it clear? <gasps> That's so cool. It's clear. <gasps> I've never seen a clear CD before. That is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Go RBW's design team. I actually really, really love just like the aesthetics of all their releases. It's just so good. But it is very hard to flip through because it's so big. But yeah, this one has a much like softer concept, um, just to go with the title track. But yeah, I'm not, I don't know really, oh, I forgot about the bookmark. Bookmark. Cute. Sorry, that wasn't really in centre. But yeah, that is this album. I'm sorry I'm doing quick flip throughs. I don't want to say too much because I'm really excited to like, go through my, who I'm collecting and stuff. It's <laughs> Um, but yes, so there is a random bookmark that comes with this. So we have this one, which is Yonghoon's. This way. <laughs> but yeah, it just has a little message. And then on the bottom it just says Book of Memory. They're really, really pretty, but like they're just kind of awkward to collect, I feel like. I don't know. I wouldn't know yet. <laughs> and then for the photo cards. So we have this one, which is... Oh my god, Dongmyung's! Oh, this is the first Dongmyung pool. Ah, cute. And then for the second one, we have... Oh my god, Kia! Adorable. <laughs> How have we not pulled any Kanghyun yet? I guess, I mean, there isn't a lot to pull. Kanghyun, please, <laughs> up here! <laughs> oh, but this is such a cute little, like, sweater thing that he's wearing. Anyway, so that was that album, and now we shall move on to the last one, which is their latest release, um, Planet Nine Alter Ego. Okay, so here we have it. This album, absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, this is the thing that made me go, screw it, 
I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, so let me just open it. Okay, so here is the album, and we have the spine, and the back, which has another sticker. <laughs> I have heard this one is easier to peel though, so I would like to appreciate that. Ooh, this is so pretty. All that, seriously, Wally's lyrics are so pretty, like, you don't understand, they are gorgeous. To talk about this track list a little bit, well, like, as I said, all, all the songs are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if I had to give, like, <sighs> favourites, I guess, so, obviously, the title track, Rain to Be, great. Aurora, like, stunning. Um, I also really love Veronica, and Cosmos, and Logo, and AI, <laughs> and Angel Spaceship. Oh my god, all the songs, they're all so good. Um, because this is a newer album, I am going to be doing a little bit more of an in-depth flip through, just because I'm very excited about it. Oh my god, how... How, how do you do? I'm never going to be opening this album again after this. Okay. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Cute. Um, okay, let me find the photo card pools. Oh, I found the sticker sheet. This comes with everyone. It's super pretty though and like artistic. As I said, aesthetics on point. I found them. Um, yes, I'm not going to do like a full, full flip through, but I do want to give, oh my god, that's so stunning. This concept is beautiful. But yeah, I just thought I'd give a little insight into how this all happened. So as I said, I have absolutely loved One Wii's music since I first listened to it, uh, Regulus in 2019, and I was considering buying their discography a few months ago, but I decided against it just because of other releases and things at the time, and you know, I only have so much money. <laughs> um, but then this album released, and I listened to the title track uh when it came out but i didn't listen to the full album yet because i was quite busy in june when, when it came out and then i had quite a long journey i had to take a coach for four hours and in a coach i get kind of motion sick so i normally just listen to music and i was like oh this is the perfect time to listen to one week's new album and listening to it i instantly fell in love and then especially veronica i was really into like the summary upbeat i was in a very good mood so veronica i was like oh my god I love this song, I just want to leave it on repeat. Oh my god, this concept is so stunning. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like leave it on repeat. And then literally right after that kind of mindset was in, uh, the music video for Veronica released, and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this is so fun and awesome. And I just kind of like fell down a rabbit hole where I just started watching all their live stages and old stages and some of their content. And um, I was... After I listened to the album, I was like, okay, no matter what, I'm going to be buying this album with the next time I buy something, uh, which would have probably been Shaker's Comeback, just because I had already bought Day 6 uh, Even of Day albums at that point. But then, within a week, I had bought <laughs> their entire discography and decided I wanted to collect them. And yeah, I'll be talking a bit more about the collecting in the second half of this video. Oh, but seriously, there's so many concepts in this photo book, we're only like halfway. <laughs> I'm probably gonna like speed through the rest of it, but it's seriously it's so pretty and like JYP please take notes of this stuff Wow, Stunning. Sorry. I'm not doing a very good job of a flip through because it's not a proper unboxing But oh my god, so pretty. That's so cute I know the um the Korean name of AI is like robots can love too. I think it is the translation of it So it's super pretty Oh my god, we still have more concepts. Oh my god. Oh, the flowers are so pretty. Everyone knows I love flowers. I love flowers so much. And anytime there's a concept with flowers, it's just like instantly my favourite. Oh my god, we have another. And we're at the end. And all the credits. And... Oh, this is so pretty. That's so cool. I just... I, the aesthetics, man. Oh, the CD is so pretty too. It's just, it's just like water, but I don't know. It's like slightly holographic. Like I know CDs in itself are quite holographic, but like the um, the printing on it is very shiny. <laughs> so even though it's like water, it's almost like a universe. So it's, <sighs> I, I just love the design. Anyway, um, we have, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, <laughs> um, we have photo cards to look at. So this album comes with a unit and a solo one, I believe. So I don't know which is which. So we're gonna go with this one, which is oh cute. This unit. Oh my god. Actually, I think this is my unit. Uh, my favorite unit from the set. There's four in total. Um. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> and then we have the back of it. Oh my god, it's so precious. Ah, so cute. And then for the solo one, we have oh my god, Dong Young. I seriously did not build a single Kang Young. That's so funny. Uh, I guess he's gonna be my. Uh, the person who avoids me the most <laughs> with one wee. But yeah, oh, so pretty. 
I actually really love... I know these are, like, um, more concept photo cards, and I know there are solo photo cards for this album, but I actually really love, like, the purple umbrellas with the grey backdrop. I think it's just... I, I just really love it. As I said, aesthetics, on point. Perfect. Anyway, we're going to go on to the second part of the video, which is setting up for the collection now. So, now that I'm done opening the albums, I have a confession. When I first bought these albums and had the idea of uh, collecting one week. At first I was only going to collect uh, two members, however it has been several weeks since then <laughs> and apparently in those weeks I have lost all sense of reasoning because I'm going to be collecting OT5 I think, I'm, you know, <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a go. So I did make this template, uh, this is not mine, I've had a borrowing someone just to like be able to talk about it with actual visual cues. So yeah, this is a template I made. I did use some people's templates just to know what kind of inclusions came with what. So there is two solo photo cards for every album and then for the latest one there's four units. So it's not actually that much compared to like Stray Kids, <laughs> which I'm used to collecting. And yeah, we're, ju we're just gonna give it a go, you know? It's gonna be fun, just a nice, slow, hopefully, <laughs> collection alongside everything else that's going on. Now the thing is, because uh, there are two photo cards per each album and five members, it means for most albums there are 10 photo cards and uh, I don't know about other collectors, but personally for me, 10 is like the number of all evil in photo card collecting. Uh, why? Because it is one off A9 pocket, <laughs> so it's very, very annoying amount. And that means ideally you would do it in a 5 pattern, which would either be um, like a plus or like an X pattern. However, after 10, the number I hate the most is 5. I really dislike 5 patterns. I don't mind them occasionally, but having like one after the other in like succession would really annoy me and also it would cause an unequal weight distribution because of how the cards lined up they would end up folding the pages like this and I know some people alternate between like a plus and an x but I really don't like the x pattern if I can avoid it so instead I'm going to be doing a bit more abstract organizing or placement of cards and to explain my thought process I have made a visual cue so I'm gonna briefly talk about my thought process and uh, I'll see if it makes sense so starting with one which is the first album first of all I'm splitting up Ki and Dongmyeon and the rest of the members reasoning uh their photo cards don't really go with the others it just like I don't know how to explain it but the the sets that they're in they don't really match the others like here we have three desert photo cards where they don't have any and then here these don't really match but they still kind of look together whereas Dongmyeon and Kia's like photo cards they very very clearly match each other you'll see what I mean on the second page so I've decided to lay it out like this with the two sets like this uh, I also decided to do a six pattern like this just because I wanted to mix it up a little bit rather than just doing the regular two 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 so yes that's hopefully what it's gonna look like again if I hate this I'm gonna I'll just go to five patterns but I'm gonna give it a go like this and see if I like it as it continues uh so yes and then for Dongmyeon and Kia I will be doing like this and then there is the little uh this thing that comes with the album so I'll put that in the middle which I think goes very nicely with Kia's hair and like very colorful Dongmyeon cards like they're just very colorful compared to these ones which is why I wanted to split them up um I don't obviously want to split them up but you know aesthetics <laughs> It's just uh, photo cards, it's fine. Um, so that is the plan for one. And then for studio re uh, recording, so once again we have two photo cards per member, so I am doing a 222 with the white outfits here and then the outfits like this. And I have started in this corner intentionally because if we go onto the next page for Kia and Dongmyeon, I have decided to do it like this and combine it with Memory Illusion. So these four are all from studio re recording and then these four are all from Memory Illusion and it follows the same pattern that was on the last page and then it goes across and then it goes backwards from Memory Illusion, so backwards age order essentially, <laughs> um, which then goes on to the next one, which again continues backwards age order and it's the opposite, so it kind of makes like a mirror thing. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense, but <laughs> that's how I wanted to do it. So we're doing it like this. And then for the latest album, the latest album is a little easier because there's the units. Uh, so for the first page it's going to be like this and then seven pattern and I think this looks really nice I think this is going to be my favorite page in the binder. It's so pretty uh, Just everything matches and then you have all the units that match the members. It's, it's just really pretty I can't wait for this page um, and then for the others It's kind of like the leftovers, but you know, I, I like it It's just the matching outfits that they're in so it does annoy me that this photo was taken outside <laughs> And this one wasn't but you know, it's still pretty nonetheless um, so yes, that is the plan for the album cards. I am also going to be collecting some special stuff, but I want to sort out organising the album stuff first. So, 
I did get a new binder and I've already put away my Young K and Day6 like collection in this part uh, just because I wanted to combine them and the binder that Young K was in as much as I love it it was desperately running out of room so here I have a lot of room to grow um, so we will be putting one we here we're gonna put them in or I'm gonna put them, I keep saying we I'm so sorry about that but I'm gonna put them in front of Day6 because they didn't have as much as Day6 and I'm going to be going there a lot while completing this collection. So rather than having to go through all of this day six stuff every time I want to get to one wee, I'll be going through the small amount of one wee stuff to get to day six. I think that's a lot more reasonable. So I'm going to start by getting uh, some nine pocket pages. I believe I need seven, seven nine pocket pages. Okay, they're all in, and I did pre-make the fillers. I didn't make the ones for obviously the cards that I managed to get in the album, so I'm just gonna be putting these in in the layouts that I had planned. And for the fillers in between, I will be using the black hollow sleeves. I might change them to white hollow um, once the photo cards are in, and I think that might look better. But for now, I'm gonna use black because that's what I used in the day six collection, and I wanna kinda keep it cohesive. So I'm gonna be using these black hollow sleeves um, and I will leave the link if you're interested in the description. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go through and put everything in. Also, I'd just like to say the reason I wrote Hyungu instead of Kangyun is because it's shorter to write, but for Kia, it's shorter to write Kia. So I write Kia rather than Giwuk, which is his real name. <laughs> Just, I want to say that's the reasoning behind that. It was just whatever it was easiest to write. Okay, now that all the fillers are in, it's time to put the photo cards that I got in. So I'm just gonna sleeve these. Okay, all sleeved, so now we can put it in. I'm so excited to finally like actually get this started. I've had, as I said, I've been planning this for ages just because of how long it took the albums to ship and it's made me, you know, consider doing this <laughs> but I'm really really excited for it it seems kind of impulsive and in a way it is but in a way it isn't because as I said I have loved one Wu's music for so long and it was it was only a matter of time you know <laughs> uh let me put this in the middle I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this in a holographic sleeve but I think for now it's pretty <laughs> um yes and then on to studio recording so we have this high end one oh, so I'm so excited it's just, I'm so excited for this just because this is the first time I've like started a new collection since since I started collecting. Uh, when I started collecting back in 2019, I started with uh, Jisung Singman and Chan and then uh, from Stray Kids and then <laughs> Young K from Day6 and I still collect them and I haven't added any collections and this is the first one and it's just really, really exciting. And it's also the first one I'm starting like with this YouTube channel, which means I get to see the entirety of the process from beginning to end, which is just so exciting to me, you know? <laughs> it's just like one of those things. Can you tell? I just, I'm really, really excited about this. Um, none for here, none for here, and then here we have the last ones. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep saying that. This one, this photo card is seriously the cutest. Um, but yes, so this is the album pages and now I will set up for some special stuff which I'm so excited to announce and that <laughs> my bias is a drum roll please. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure that was so obvious and predictable. Knowing me and knowing what the one we members are like. I mean, honestly, they're all amazing, which is obviously why I'm collecting OT5, but I have a very clear bias and it is Kia. So I would like to collect his like special pre-order stuff and fan sign stuff and some extra stuff. They don't have a lot, so I will consider adding things in the future. But for now, I will get the template up I made. So one reason I make my own templates is because I like to collect specific things and I like having everything I'm collecting personally in a template. So this isn't absolutely everything of Kia's, but this is everything I personally am going to collect. For Planet Nine, not everything has been like released yet. I think they finished announcing them, which I really hope so, because at the moment there's nine photo cards, which is perfect for a page. And if they announce one more, I'm gonna cry. Um, but for the moment, there's these nine. So I'm not gonna set up for them just because I don't know what they will look like. And I like setting things up based on 
appearance and balancing it out and stuff. So for those, I'm gonna ignore for now, even though they're in the template. <laughs> um, and instead, I'm gonna be focusing on studio re-recording, which has two pre-order benefits, and then memory illusion, which has seven uh, pre-order and fan time benefits, and then some for some miscellaneous stuff. I'm gonna be collecting the photo cards that they released for um, some concerts. So there was Studio Re Live number five and Studio Re Live number six. So I'm gonna be collecting those two as well as his Polaroid and PC from their like fanship first membership thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. Uh, to show how I'm gonna be laying out the pages. So one thing that's really amazing about Studio Re Recording and Memory Illusion is that in total, there is nine photo cards, which means I can fill the page, which is really exciting. Uh, so these two are the Studio We uh, recording ones, and luckily he still has like blondish hair here. Obviously, he has some blue highlights, but it's all blonde, so it all kind of goes together really nicely. So it's Studio We recording, and then it flows into the ones for Memory Illusion from their respective places. So this is how I'm going to be laying it out. I will have this at the side when I'm doing the page because obviously I will need the reference. Um, and then for the miscellaneous stuff, I'll be doing it like this. So these two are the fanship things, and then this is for Studio Re Live number five, and this is number six. And like, this photo card is to die for. Like, this is not a want, this is a need. This is a necessity in my life now, <laughs> this photo card. Um, but yes, I I think this page really goes together really nicely, and just like the colours of it all. So yeah, I'm going to be setting up for those now. I once again did already make the fillers, so I'll just be putting them in. I didn't specify which albums they were by the way because I personally know that these two are studio re-recording and then the rest will be memory illusion and this way I can reuse the sticky notes if I don't specify so just to let you know. Cool, then all done. For this page I am using white holographic fillers for two reasons. One because these are black so it just kind of makes it stand out a bit more and understand that these are where the places are going. But two, I'm actually going to be changing these out to something else later on, I just don't have this stuff on me. So they're kind of actually temporary. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the setup for Kia's special stuff. In terms of other things or larger items, uh, at the moment I'm not really looking at it but at the same time it depends how fast and how, how fast I complete this and other things that are happening. But yeah, so that is the entire collection. I'm just gonna add a cover page on the top and then we're gonna do a final flip through. Since at the moment I don't have anything to put here, I'm just gonna put the little postcard from the Studio Re recording album, just because I think it fits nicely as a temporary um, divider, I guess. <laughs> so here we have the first page of one and then the second page. And then we have Studio Re Recording, and then Studio Re Recording into Memory Illusion, and then Memory Illusion, and then Planet Nine first page, Planet Nine second page, and then special stuff for Kia, and some other special stuff. And that is it! And I'm super, super excited for this collection, really, I am. I just, ah, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. So, yeah, thank you so much for being on this journey with me, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing some one-week content on this channel. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye!